His name is literally Trash. Trash the Orc or Ogre or I don't know what he is. It's the type of characters I feel we shouldn't be associating with though, Mina. Thrash, oh his name is Thrash. <laughs> That's the name. I think Trash was a better name. <laughs> I'm just gonna call him Trash. My best friend, Trash. Thrash is honestly the more intimidating name and for that reason alone I wanna call him Trash. I don't want him to know I'm scared of him. Don't look me in the eyes, Trash. How's it going everyone? My name is Graham and welcome to the brand new game Battle Chef Brigade it just came out today from Trinket Studios. It's a Kickstarter success story from a while back. Thank you so much to the developers for sending me a key. It really checked off a lot of boxes for me. It has awesome hand painted visuals, really slick looking 2D platforming action, cool genre blending which I always really like, and to top it all off, a uh, food cooking based theme which was really like the icing on the cake and it feels really stupid and cheesy to use an analogy of food and then like other cheesy like I, I gotta get I, I gotta get away from the food idioms or embrace them more fully I gotta go one direction or the other here I'm very much looking forward to checking it out we'll see how it goes do I want to do normal or hard I better stick with normal because I haven't played this at all yet ago, monsters raged across Victusia. they destroyed farms decimated the dwindling animal population and attacked our people on sight. Famine and death swept the land. No one had dared to hunt and cook monsters. That's smart. Centuries. They're killing all the animals. Their you should be killing the monsters it instead and eating them. Heinrich and Chef Robichon delivered Victusia from the brink of extinction. Together, they built the finest culinary institution this world has ever seen. I have no idea why the chef and king were like best buddies, but I dig it. Of elite soldier chefs on the frontier of the culinary world. Now, battle chefs Morik? The land, he doesn't look like much of a chef. He just has some crazy axes and a crazy goblin-like glint in his eye. As summer begins, so does our tournament drawing forth the next generation of culinary warriors. Okay, so some of these guys are like orcs and like murder people or something. What tantalizing dishes will be revealed? I think I get to just be a regular human being though. This year's tournament is sure to be our fiercest yet. Chapter 1, Breeze. Chapter 1 seems like an ideal place to start on our little windy, windy village. Oh, see those hand-painted visuals are coming in already. And that that's just like the artwork surrounding the game. The actual, the actual animation and everything is all hand-animated as well. Alright, so I already mentioned that there's 2D platforming. The cooking is all this like match three puzzle style thing. I think I am Lily. Trying to wake Nina up. She just keeps saying 10 more minutes. Mina, get down here now. Nope, I'm probably Mina, if I had to guess. Mina, if you don't come down this instant, I'm up. Stop yelling. Yes, I'm definitely Mina. You know it's busiest on Fridays. Finish that Karano Mabo tofu order for table two. I'm sorry I've never heard of that ever before. I'll do my best to make it, but I don't know what it is. Marana Kana Tofu? I I don't know. Uh, I gotta run to the table to grab ingredients. I'll just leave the house. Okay, I guess it meant it, it meant this. It meant the pantry. Add Karana stomach. So it's a, ma a monster. It's probably why I've I've never heard of it before. That would make the most sense. Ooh, some of the matching is starting to take place. Ingredients taste a bit off to me. A couple of things we got from the market were strange. Not sure what's going on. Was it because they were literally monsters? Is this normally like an animal-based dish and you're using monsters? Alright, I can make I can make soup. Soup sounds easy. I can handle that. The squickle tentacle. I don't want to just put bull steak in it. You guys don't want beef? Alright, so I'm trying to look. It has the blue and the two greens. Okay, so, so it carries over just like I thought it would. If I place it here... Then I can connect the blues. Ah, uh, but you see, 
there's the normal blue and then like the upgraded of each thing. So the starter blue there won't connect with the big swishing one. The starter green won't connect with the bigger crystals. Starter fire won't go with like the inferno fire. So you got to match those appropriately as well. All right. I actually get to handle the stirring here. Stirring is literally me swapping things around here. All right. I bunked it up a little bit. Let's uh, let's see if we can correct some of what we had going wrong here. There we go. See, this is what I wanted. Perfect. Norm I, I assume I'm going to have to be doing this under, like, a time constraint eventually, and I'm not so much looking forward to that. That seems like that could get incredibly difficult very quickly, although I'm already starting to get the hang of it a little bit, a little bit better at least. Not great, but I can, I can start to foresee, foresee how things need to be moved around there. Nailed it. Pick up the dish and get her ready to serve. Oh, hold, hold. There you go. Everyone enjoy your booba bob noodles. I kind of like that rather than having uh, little pop-up heads with the dialogue next to them, they're like moving around on screen here and everything. It's like plays out like an actual scene in a show or something like that. Oh, so this is where I get to get kick some monster ass. I can always tell by how much he's slouching. Off menu? Does that just mean like really weird, dirty things? Should I go bash up some pigeons? His standards aren't that high. A fifty point dish should do. Hmm. Seems like in this world you wouldn't really need food critics if everyone just inherently can measure the point value of a dish. Out to the backyard I go. Man, cooking must be so easy when you can just go around punching birds and stuff, and then look at that, I got all these ingredients. I bash this stupid these sucker plants. Ah, that one's flying. I don't I can't quite get at the flying guy. Quit this. Quit attacking me down below there. I'm trying to I'm trying to multitask by hitting the ones down below and the side. Holy shit, the way you ricochet yourself around and kick the hell out of everything is awesome. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I gotta collect all this stuff now. I realize this is just like a pleasant little bird, but I don't care. I'll eat it. You stupid cheapa. Guess you shouldn't have hung out in the backyard of a chef. Oh, my satchel. My satchel is full. All right, I got to drop some of this stuff off then. Can I insert it in the pantry? Or uh, let, let's see, make a dish with at least 50 stars. Well, I'm going to put a cheapa breast in there. That sounds like it would be nice and tasty. And a uh, Karana wing. So it's kind of like a piranha, piranha plant or something. Whoops, I screwed up. I only, I only put one ingredient in this dish. This was a mistake. Um, put down. Okay, I could go reaccess the pantry there. I'm just gonna splat that down, and we might as well put one more of those in there because now I can make a third one of these swishy waterfall things. Perfect and perfect. Oh god, that did not add anywhere near as much as I thought it would. Uh, <laughs> in uh, more more chicken? More chicken will obviously just make this dish better, right? I can just throw as many of these in there as possible. One more for good measure for maximum point value. It doesn't matter what the ingredients actually are, just as long as you get the points. Ah, oh, crap, it actually... There's like gravity affecting things there. I gotta, I gotta worry about gravity in this game. There, I got you figured. Perfect. Now it's all ready. What the hell? It just looks like it has a bunch of dumplings with eyeballs or something. I hope you like it. Hey, Mina. Got a new experiment for me to try? Yeah, man. I literally just ran to the backyard, punched some birds in like a weird piranha plant, and chucked it on a plate. Everyone's okay with that. They don't seem to mind that it came just straight from the backyard. Oh, come on, man. It's got 60 taste points. Is he kidding? There, okay, okay. You had me worried there. I was legitimately scared that I screwed that one up. I don't need grain and flour. I just cook birds and, and stuff that I punch. 
There's no grain or flour in this dish, and somehow I still made tasty eye dumplings. Mina, go over to Simon so he doesn't have to make a double trip. I really don't mind. You live so close by. Hush, I'll go. Give this money to his father when you get there. Ooh, Simon, I vote that we keep the money for ourselves and go spend it on like a naughty movie or something. No, I'm joining the brigade. This isn't a joke. I'm finally going to do it. I'm going to run away from home. Oh, damn. Okay, she has no approval there. She's uh, doing this a little uh, outside of her parents' approval. <laughs> Mina, I think you're way too old for that now. What am I? In my, like, 20s? Are you suddenly past your prime in your 20s? I need to reevaluate my life here. Oh, too old for the running away part. Yes, that I would agree with. If I wait for their permission, I'll be stuck cooking the same recipes for the same people forever. That's not necessarily true. You could change up the menu. When I make it in, I'll get to travel the land and learn about everything in the world of food. That's more than I could ever do here. You're serious then? Dead serious. I've got what it takes and I'm not growing enough around here where everyone's happy just doing the same old stuff. Pretty good argument. You gotta let your wings spread. M Mina? More than my dad is your mom. Couldn't you wait till the restaurant picks back up a bit? It hasn't been doing so great lately. Probably because Mina's been wasting all of her time experimenting with weird eyeball dishes. New travelers will be passing through on their way to the proving tournament. They'll be fine. You don't own a coin your parents haven't given you first. How are you gonna... Mina Han, you rogue. Now I'm gonna be an accomplice. Did she steal money? This money is just enough to apply and a bit extra. Did you just steal money from your parents' struggling restaurant? Did you just financially cripple them? That wasn't the best idea, Mina. I don't like this. But how can I refuse my You don't even have flour, Mina? That's all it takes to become a rogue chef is a smock, some flour, and a bit of stolen cash. Perfect startup. No Kickstarter needed. There might legitimately be a god of barley in this game, which is super weird and hilarious. Filet Simon? Simon noodles. Sai Monet. I forget what Monet is. Sai Monsarella. One of those will stick, I'm sure. Sure. Why don't we practice with wind magic one last time? Is that? I only had three magics before. Maybe none of those were magic. Those might have just been the elements of cooking. I have no idea. Oh wait, time to go punch some, I don't know, cats or something? It doesn't really matter. What? Oh, okay, I, I, I'm ready. You're in the middle of getting your ankles chomp, chomped off. Throw daggers? That doesn't sound magical at all. I'm quite certain anyone can throw daggers. No magical abilities needed. Ah, here we go, whirlwind. That's a little bit something more. Oh, damn. That was pretty cool. Ah! Oh crap! <laughs> oh my goodness! If only Ma could see you now! That's so terrible! This thing, it doesn't even look like it has wings. It's got one eye. It has no death perception or whatever. I'm tossing it around with a whirlwind. It's so mean. It's too bad she doesn't practice battling anymore. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize that they weren't voice acting these lines. I was too caught up in the moment here. Well, if it weren't for her and Pa starting up this restaurant, you wouldn't have a chance in the Proving Tournament. Get a few more ingredients while you're out there. Can't let you leave me with all the work. Fill the ingredients, Sietchel. Come back here. You're like the only thing. I need to eat you. There's very there's very little for me to uh, to work with here, so I, I gotta take what I can get. I ended up with so many... Oh, did I just throw something away on accident? That was... I didn't mean to. What the heck? This thing's stealing my ingredients? Quit this! I want that! 
I made a made an ingredient list of just a bunch of cheaps last time, so I want to actually like make use of a, some newer ingredients this time around. And you guys are not making this easy. I'm gonna kick this bird just so it doesn't take my stuff. I don't care if I actually use any of those ingredients or not. Oh, good, it auto loads them into the pantry. That makes it nice and easy for me. Oh, before I forget, did you pack enough underwear? What? I think so. Quit thinking about my underwear, Saskia. I want you to write every week. Please stop acting like mom. Hey, I have to make sure I'm not allowing you out to die in a ditch somewhere. Well, I'll have plenty of underwear and stationery with me in that ditch. All right, you better get going. Thanks, Kiki. You have no idea what this opportunity Oh, I'm not actually cooking anything else. That was just I'm just helping her out by supplying her with some things. All right, hopefully you got a nice variety. Hopefully you appreciate it. And here, take this cookie jar with you. A little Cookie jar. The smell of cookies is permanently baked into this jar. Plus 2 health. Sweet. Oh, do I actually have to I actually have to choose my loadout here so it's not just a permanent upgrade. I have to make sure that I have it equipped. I have to replace a combat item. Orange pebble, a shiny pebble given to you by an elderly customer one day. Maybe he thought it was a coin. When satchel, a small field bag that rests at the hip. It's soft and worn from years of use. I want to keep that one. I like having the satchel slot and the extra health. Well, I'll flip that one out because this one is better. Perfect. That was a pretty simple decision. Onwards from Windy Village to Brigade Town. They have an, an entire town dedicated to like this tournament that they set up here. Okay, it took a couple days worth of travel. Oh, here's one of these big badass orcs. Right on Kiki's cloak. I have to get this back, you know. That guy seems like someone I don't wanna I don't wanna fight against. I don't wanna cook against him. I don't even want to play a game of Uno against him. That guy looks intimidating. That guy's got a club with a bunch of nails in it. Who the hell are these guys? We're out of our element here, Mina. I think we need to go home. I think your parents are right. This is not a good decision for us. <laughs> they say it's good luck for that to happen when you first come to town. His name is literally Trash? Trash the Orc or Ogre or I don't know what he is. The type of characters I feel we shouldn't be associating with though, Mina. Oh, literally everyone. It's a very popular it's saying. I'm Thrash, by the way. Thrash! Oh, his name is Thrash! <laughs> That's name. I think Trash was a better name. I'm just gonna call him Trash. My best friend, Trash. Thrash is honestly the more intimidating name, and for that reason alone, I want to call him Trash. I don't want him to know I'm scared of him. Don't look me in the eyes, Trash! That's a knife bag at your side, and you've got a pan handle sticking out of the back of your satchel. Right. <laughs> Marking the other contestants is easy. You can sense a special aura about them burning with excitement. <laughs> Look at me getting all worked up. Anyway, this is the back of the line. Up there with the pink-haired woman is where we register. How far off are we? This isn't even the half of it. I hear there's somewhere around 50 hopefuls. Well, I would have guessed more, really. I'm I'm not that intimidated by 50. I can learn the mechanics of a game well enough to beat 50 so people, awesome. I'm sure. But this line, Yeesh. just walk 30 miles, and I don't have the energy for this. Oh well, then by the time you come back tomorrow, it'll be 60 people, and then you're no better off than you are now. Well, you can cut in front of me if you like. Oh, trash, trash with the heart of gold. She just took him up on that? Yeah. Why not? Can we just cut seize everyone? Oh, no fair. That person has like a giant robot helper or something. How am I, how am I supposed to fight against that? Hey, this isn't gonna do. Time for some Mina magic. You're not just gonna whirlwind these people, are you? Because I think uh, that might not blow over too well. Huh? I'll see you around. Gotta go. <laughs> you, just, you just pulled up your hood and started acting like a poor old lady maybe you should have disguised your voice a little bit too everyone saw that that wasn't sneaky at all 
you walked directly in front of everyone in your normal voice and then changed directly in front of everyone. That was terrible, Mina. You didn't think that through at all, did you? Hey, she cut. Hi, I'm here for the Yeah, everyone's clearly mad. Are they just gonna let me to They're just gonna let me cut? That was no magic, Mina. That was just very obnoxious. Yes, I have that. Take this form and fill it out. Hand it to the gentleman to my right. Next. Mina Hawk. Well, damn, that worked incredibly well. Title? Let's see. Well, Simon always calls me the Iron Stomach since I can eat anything. Done. Here is your registration number. <laughs> Here is your registration number. I don't know what the hell that was. It was like German and old English or something. I think I may have, uh, I don't know. That, that just caught me off guard. Kraus. His name should be Kraut, like sauerkraut. Kraut, the, the big burly knight. Your orientation is at 6 a.m. 6 a.m. This guy, he's, he's going to be a villain, maybe. It's a very comical, over-the-top, villainous voice, if you ask me. I better go find a place to stay and rest up. Next step, get a room in the inn. Well, this guy still looks a little bit mad. If I talk to him, is he going to be pissed? Wheeze, he's got my his eye on me. I can't actually talk to any of these people. So long, trash. Hey there, Blue. A master of disguise, I see, haha. <laughs> Every kid plays make-believe. I just never stopped. See you around. How is everyone not more mad about what I've done here? The kitchen Coliseum. This may very well just be the inn. I kind of just want to take a quick dash over to the left side of the town, see what else is there. Ooh, a kitty cat. Can we cut it up and eat it, perhaps? Wow, looks like this whole store is cat-themed. I'll have to check this out later. Yeah, it's probably like a, a weird butcher's shop or whatever. Oh, this bookstore. The innkeeper. This is the innkeeper. It looked like, looked a little bit like a bookstore. Oh, wait. I just walked inside of it. I thought I was still out on the street. I didn't notice the Regal Warren sign, like that barrier where it was supposed to transition into indoors. How much per night? Two gold a night, and we have complimentary breakfast here. My wife cooks. If you're here for the tournament, you can stay for the entirety of the competition for 20. It's a steal. Oh, that's everything that I have. But this guy's got a nice, like, Samwise Gamgee feel going on, so I'm willing to give him every dime I have and then some. I mean, that's kind of the risk you took, Mina, when you stole your parents' money and ran off to this tournament. Ooh, that does sound like a very helpful thing. I will definitely be doing that. That'll do. Enjoy your stay and break a dish. Ah, uh, instead of, like, break a leg. Ah, that's cute. Oh, it's probably another saying. Yeah, I figured it out. I figured it out before you did, Mina. This is really nice. We do our best. I'll let you get settled in. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Thank you, sir. Maybe I'll just take a small nap. Oh, you're gonna sleep in, Mina. This is a terrible decision. I'm calling it right now. You're waking up at like 6 or 5.57 or something. What time is it? I need to get downstairs. Mm, I'm very worried that we're absolutely late, but what if I inspect quickly? Now nah, I'll do that later. Unimportant. No one will be that worried. We've only been missing a day. It takes two days to file a missing, missing persons report. It's not a concern. Oh Everything all right with your accommodations, sir? I'm a girl. Oh, ho, ho, oh, my word, you'll have to excuse me. I've misplaced my glasses. But I don't sound like a man, do I? Forgive me, I'm hard of hearing, too. Oh, I'm sure you're a fine young orc lad. <laughs> now I'm an orc on top of still being a boy? Come on. Anyway, everything is very nice here. Thank you. But I don't know what time it is. Did I miss anything? I guess I'll have to figure that out next time. I fully anticipated that I was going to be 100% late. Next time, guys, I'll be coming back. Figure out definitively how on time we are or aren't. And then we can start our adventure in the brigade properly. Enter the tournament. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying the game so far. I think it definitely has a lot of potential. I'm looking forward to seeing what else it has to offer. And I'll see you again soon.